Hi there guys, and in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of table sizes. Hi there guys, thanks very much for joining me. Um, if you do enjoy the content, please think about liking and, uh, you know, liking and sharing. And if you do wanna see us on a regular basis, subscribe um but that being said i'm talking to you guys today about um table sizes and the reason i'm actually bringing this up is i've just finished a game uh, it's not one i've recorded because of course we we're just teaching um a, a mate of mine's not played for nearly a year so i just wanted a refresher and we played 1500 points and we played it on a six foot by four foot table now we, he was playing space marines i was playing imperial guard and it, it dawned on me that the table size itself could really the minimum board size could really be detrimental because i've never really played on it to swarm armies now this is my six foot by four foot gaming table uh, which are actually two foot by four foot interlocking boards put across my dining room table uh, well the dining room table that we've been given and the mat itself is six foot by four foot, and it's a pretty good size space, especially when you're playing up to about 2,000 points. I wouldn't recommend playing anything bigger on there. I can get a decent amount of terrain on the actual battlefield. It looks good. It looks nice. And this is Games Workshop's recommendation. Now, don't get me wrong, it says minimum, so you can play a bit more, but that's a lot of real estate you are actually giving up. Now, don't get me wrong, you're not, you're not giving up too much in the way of deployment zone. But just to put it in context, my opponent today, Chris, was playing his Dark Angels army, had 41 models in total, three of which were redempted dreadnoughts. I had over 70 models to put on the tabletop. Don't get me wrong, about four or five of them were tanks, but tanks, Imperial Guard tanks, still took up a lot of space. Deployment-wise, I was... Over here, because it was a Dawn of War style deployment, I was in the centre, and I was over here. And Chris kind of did a bit more of a refuse flank down there. Now, we wouldn't have been able to do that on a minimum board size. Chris would have been fine. His army, yeah, were a little bit scrunched up, but would have been all right. I would have been suffering. And the reason I would have been suffering is because I would have had to spill, I wouldn't have had the tactical availability of holding that units back out of cover, I wouldn't have had the extra inch or two that it gives you in deployment to be able to spread some forces out or to even make sure that certain units are far back away from my opponent. I would have been forced a little bit closer and I wouldn't have been able to move towards the sides. Now, 70, I think it was 71 figures in total, is hard to maneuver around a very small board. So hopefully here's a picture of the table we were actually using. And here's what it looks like with the overlay of what the minimum board size would have been. Now, I had units here, here, and here. Chris had units here, here, and here. And the game itself was very backwards and forwards. We, we were stretching ourselves out. We had little mini battles going on. It was a really good game. But I don't think it would have been the same on a minimum table size. I would have, especially myself, I would have been severely restricted and i mean severely restricted bearing in mind that only 500 less points would have put me on a table this big that big that's the one that's in the middle of my six foot by four foot table now i have you can see if i have a line of a two foot join that is the edge of a four foot table now normally if i were playing a thousand points i'd recommend a four foot by four foot table i wouldn't recommend this is tiny these are good for things like a really big game of Kill Team or even Necromunda. To me, it's not big enough to play Warmer 40k with certain armies. Space Marines versus Space Marines, go ahead. But if you're playing Guard and you're playing against someone like Space Marines or you're playing against, or even Guard versus Orcs on this table, you couldn't do it. A thousand points, you just simply would have not have enough, you wouldn't have enough maneuverability. You'd, have, you'd be forced to either take vehicles to put units into or even spend command points on trying to get your units into reserve so you can get them on the tabletop later. But then your tactics have gone out the window. 
your way of play has gone out the window. Sometimes even the way somebody likes to play the game has completely gone out the window because you are forced into a situation because of smaller game size. Now I have been online to try and find out who was actually the main guy responsible for the Warhammer 40k 9th edition rulebook. Now I know somebody in charge of it was actually on some of the Twitch streams because I did watch a lot of Twitch Twitch streams when the game was actually coming out and I can't remember the guy's name for the life of me. So if you guys can remember, you can just pop it down here so I can actually do some proper research into this. When you look at older rule books, older rule books used to tell you who was responsible for the game. We used to have a list of people, a list of thanks. And the list of thanks in 9th edition just literally says the Mornville, uh, Mornival, sorry, and the Infinity Circuit, which if you type either of those two <laughs> keywords into Google, you will get a lot of random things pop up, um, either like podcasts or other people's gaming groups. Trying to nail it down can be quite difficult. I know some YouTubers have gone online to say that they're the ones that are responsible for the playtesting. But these YouTubers that I've found that have said that are tournament players. They are not players that just do it for the general fun of a game. They are actually tournament players. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I do like some of the way that some of the missions play. But I don't think the game is geared towards anybody that wants to use more than 40 figures in a game at all. It's very much, you got to remember when 8th edition was coming to an end, we had a Space Marine Codex. And then we had a Space Marine Codex again when the game came out new. Space Marines are Games Workshop's biggest sellers. We know this. But it doesn't mean that they should just tailor the game to Space Marines. If I went to a friend's house and I told them I was playing Imperial Guard or I was playing my Gene Stealer Cult as an example, because that's another Horde style army. And they put out a minimum board size. I wouldn't want to play. I'd be very, very restricted. Especially if they were playing something like Adeptus Custodes. Or even, again, if they were playing Space Marines. I'd just find it... I wouldn't enjoy it. So hopefully my rant here kind of makes sense of why you shouldn't really be using a, a minimum game size. I'd love to know more about who was responsible for a lot of the playtesting and a lot of the rules writing. I know it's kind of like the Warhammer community team now and then, like I say, it's kind of vague interpretations of who's going to be doing what. I've only done some quick searches. I've not done a massive deep dive. I will try and get into that, but I've got other videos pending, really. Um, so if some guys can help me out, if you can put a comment in, if you do watch the video all the way to this particular point, just so I can actually get an understanding. As far as I understand, from what I've seen, it is... Very tournament based, very tournament heavy, and it's affecting how I enjoy playing the game because I am literally going against everything that Games Workshop is saying currently on how you should be playing. Oh well, never mind. So if anyone's got any other experiences as well, just put them in the comments below. I may even put something out on Reddit. Uh, just asking, do people like this newer board size, or do people prefer to be using the bigger games? I mean, I also play other games, so I definitely need a six foot by four foot table. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Again, if you enjoy the content, please like, share, and subscribe if you can. Uh, and we'll see you next time I try and do another rant.